So, believe it or not, Charlie Boy is going to be bearing it all this morning. Many would know him, yes, but uh, many simply just don't understand him. Charles Chukwemeka Oputa, once again, popularly known as Charlie Boy, is a Nigerian singer. He's a writer, an activist. He's also one of Nigerians' most controversial entertainers best known for his alternative fashion and lifestyle. He is the son of former Supreme Court Justice Chukudifu Oputa. Charles, it's a pleasure Thank having you. you as the very first guest of this <laughs> show. Yeah, I was talking to my friend Lekoma. I asked him, oh, so you people want to use me as a special to your take your guinea pig, eh? <laughs> Why yeah, not? but 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 it's nice to be here. Thank you so yeah, much. It's Thank nice you. To be here. Thank you. First, uh, I want to warn that I was asked to verify first which one of you is here. <laughs> you see, I'm moving away. <laughs> is it Mr. Charles Chukwemeka Oputa? Is it Charlie Boy? Or who do we have with us today? I don't know. It depends on who you want. Because there are four people living in this house. Mm. You have Charles Oputa, you have Charlie Boy, you have the Odudubaripa, one of Africa, the spiritual warrior. And you have the president of all frustrated Nigeria. And then, no, no, there are five. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then you have Linda. Linda. So, Linda. Yeah, Linda is my female alter ego. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we are. So that, that, takes me, that takes me to what has been bothering me for a while. Oh, and we need to clear, we need to clear some the of table. these things. You yeah, see, sure. I hope you're not in a hurry. No. Because we, we need to clear, clear some of these things before we move on ahead. Sure. Could you tell me where do you come from? And when I say where do you come from, mm. which planet? Do you come from? <laughs> Planet Earth. Planet Earth. But you see, I, I was raised differently. Okay. Okay? Like I heard you saying, you know, raised an uh, overdose of morality, integrity, and all those good qualities that we seem to have shoved aside. Okay? So I always tell people that I come from a very warm place, a very loving place. Uh, I dare say that I was a spoiled brat and uh, I, I grew up in love. I'd always seen my parents together. I'm 70 now, so for the past 70 years of my life, I've always seen my parents together till they passed on. And um, <clears throat> so I said to myself, even though I've been married a couple of times, this is my fourth and my last marriage, I said, I, I, I like to be like my parents because they were really into f strong family values, you know. So I come, from, I come from a very warm beginning. And I think life is mostly about uh, nurture and nature. Sure. A lot depends on where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. I, I always say that some people run away from their background, some people run towards it. If there's something positive in where you're coming from, you know, you want to hang on to that. Mm. You don't want to lose it. But if your beginning was traumatic, yeah, then you want to run away from that. I, I ran back to all the values the, that my father my parents stuffed me with and uh, even as rebellious as I may look or as I was I always had because those things were ingrained in my DNA yeah. you know so I always oh I'm not going to do this because I know puta cannot be caught doing like this yeah. or representing like this but you know I think Nigerians are beginning to understand the difference between the brand I built as Charlie okay. Boy and then me, the builder of the brand, 
as Mr. Charles Abut. Because the, I was getting confused. <laughs> you, you had me confused somewhere there. Yes. Yeah, um, I love confusing um, people. Love it's my stock and trade. Husband, <laughs> uh, your father and your mother together yeah. all the time you were growing yeah. up and sharing so much love mm -hmm. and married for just one man, one wife until they yeah, passed. Yeah, yeah. And you're done for. You're done for. And you say this is your final. Now, at what point did this value of being like father and your mother? It has always been there. My first marriage was not my doing. You know, I was busy knocking girls off, you know, everybody getting pregnant around me. You know, and my mother looked and said, no, 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 we're not going to have this. I was a stubborn kid, you know. <laughs> and then in her wisdom, she felt, you know, I'll get a girl, you get married, you know. And yes, this was at age... In her wisdom. Yeah, mm -hmm. this was at age uh, 20, 19, 20. And you okay. were already knocking girls up on the <laughs> Yes. We'll talk about that, that I later. Was a naughty, I was a naughty we, we will talk about <laughs> that later. <laughs> <laughs> then that first marriage, of course, didn't work out because as soon as I left the country, you know, the marriage was dissolved. And then I married uh, for one wrong re reason. I wanted a green card, so I married somebody else. You know, That didn't work out. I walked out. And then the third marriage... That didn't work out either, you know. But that first marriage, you know, that my mother arranged, yeah. you know, uh, because I've had two previous kids before that, that marriage, marriage, you know. You and need then, to say these things slowly so you don't confuse people <laughs> like me. Yes, I, just, yes. just an aside. <laughs> and uh, with the first marriage, I, I just had a baby. So by the time I was 20, I already had three kids. My first wow. son is 51, and he's mm. an associate professor mm. in MIT uh, in Boston. Interesting. Yeah. My first daughter is just on 50, mm. you know, so... Now tell me, tell me, Charlie boy, sorry I have to always interrupt don't you Don't worry, this way, don't worry, it's your show. I, <laughs> I have, it's, it's like I have a million questions within oh, one hour. ask away. <laughs> now... You've said a few times, mm -hmm. and you insist that you're 70. Is it that you lost your birth certificate and can't remember your age? You know... Are you really 70? Ah... Uh, oh, the only person With who the would records, have really... Yeah. Would have really Testify asked... Testify to that. Yes, it was my mother, but she's dead now. Okay. Yeah, she passed on last year. Oh, just last year? Yes. Mm. But um, I don't I, I I wonder why I feel 45. <laughs> you, you look know? 45. Yes. You, you look know? 45. That's, you look 50. Lifestyle. You look 55. That's lifestyle. Plus, uh, I think I have the best genes around. That's my bragging right. Because lifestyle. I have, yeah. Lifestyle. Like people, I know you would expect that I'll be a drinker. Yes. I don't drink. Mm -hmm. Which is why I picked on I, that word lifestyle, because yes, what one I don't would drink. expect. I'm, 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 I respect this body. I, I treasure and honor this body. Then how come I don't, you're the area father representing? You know, I can be all that and still be the area father. Father figure. Because in the area, I mean, I've been at this for 45 years. That I've been like an I, I, eternity. I, I don't I don't so much like the word activist. I think I'm a social engineer. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I've been at it for the past forty five years, as long as I've been married to the woman called Lady D. Forty five years. Okay. How many marriages where you see they walk? Even Pastor Seth. Mm. They're on the walk. Mm. <laughs> I make I tell you when we start this program, say uh, now the Charlie boy way you do read for newspaper. Not be the real one. No, but no, seriously. You made a comment mm. <laughs> and you say you were saying I told you that the listen, I have aspect. a stop no, I have a soft voice. Oh, okay. My talking voice. And mm. you say no. Mm. Charlie boy. I can hear you. This, yeah, you can hear me, but you can hear me, but loud you know, and clear. I'm not I'm not as gregarious as Mr. Puta, as mm. Charlie Boy is. Okay. Charlie Boy is somebody I just hide behind. 
Okay, okay. Yeah. so we, we've been unbundling Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy. And trust me, I still have a few questions for oh, you. Is cool. he already time to go it's on a break? It's not time. Not yeah. But you see, I have to always interrupt Charlie Boy so that we don't get sucked into, <laughs> <laughs> sucked into everything that he says. Please hold on. I'd like Charlie Boy to tell me. Yeah. Now, from a few interviews of yours that I have watched, mm -hmm. Daddy was probably the best father you could have. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So I much discipline, so much love. Oh, yeah. And then you had you know, freedom to express yourself at a very young age. Yes. Um, so I am asking, where did this spirit of revolt, if I can use that word, of rebel. I think it's where did it spring from? I think my father passed it on. Because even as a toddler, we always told listen, you are no puta. When they ask what does being does an mean? Oputa mean? What does it mean yeah. to be an oputa? Say as an oputa, your word has to be your bond, blah 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 blah. You need to walk with your head up. And I was taught to challenge what I'm ignorant about. Anything I don't know, I should ask questions. Okay, I didn't come from the kind of home where the kids are asked, oh yeah, go to your room because elders were there. Be we were encouraged, yes. We were encouraged to be among elders, even though we didn't have a clear understanding of but what the heck. But how come it was you, Charles, uh -huh. and, well, not noticeably any of the others, who got these genes from these rebellious genes from the old man. How come you? If you ask me, who I go ask? I wonder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how come me. I can't answer that. <laughs> you know, but uh, my father was hard on me. Mm. You know, because in my home at the time, there was time to come to the table. There yeah. was time to pray. There was time to go to catechism. Mm. In fact, do you know that I had so much religion stuff down my throat. Tell me about that it. That I became an altar boy at the age of 14, thereabout. I became an altar, altar boy. At the age of 19 or 20, I went to the seminary. I stayed six months but at in that the time seminary. You were, at yes, that time, somewhere. 19 and 20, yeah. you were knocking, you were knocking uh -huh, square pegs. Uh -huh, uh -huh, the devil the made seminar. me do it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good answer. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we're unbundling. We're unbundling Charlie yeah. Boy and I'm so happy that this is happening. Mm -hmm. Because you see, some people have said to me aside, mm -hmm. yeah, that you see all of the branding and all of the facade that mm -hmm. we see mm -hmm. is actually like a smoke screen. Oh, yeah. Right, and I'm that an the real, and that That's the real, and that the real Charlie boy, yeah, is hidden somewhere in the background, yeah, and sure. would He's not, the one and probably would not hurt, all these things. Probably would not hurt a fly. Is that correct? Very correct. That huh. is correct. Very correct. That, in no. fact, how many people will I tell that I'm, a, I'm the biggest introvert? No, come on. It's almost impossible to unpack this man, I can say. No, right, am I, right? I always tender myself for unpacking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so still unpacking you, Charlie Boy. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd like to know, in all of this, apart from getting you the very first wife, mm -hmm. obviously, who you were not ready, mm -hmm. you know, or when it? you were not ready. Yeah. At 20... A young man isn't really ready. No. So it, no. What, was that some kind of punishment or, or what? <laughs> yes, because you were giving her so much trouble. And um, in all of this drama called Charles, Charlie Boy, Yeah. where was mother? Oh, she was there all the time. My mother was like my confidant, you know, and the person I always ran to whenever... I did something naughty to protect me. Um, it may surprise you that when I, I think I was about 10 years old, man, I've had a wonderful life. 
And I, I think about 10 years old, uh, my mother caught uh, my baby nuts, you know, fondling with me. And uh, <laughs> when I saw her expression mm -hmm. and how she was thrown out, you know, that made me, I was like, hmm, this woman is trying to protect me, yeah? I'm being a mother. Yeah. And then at, I think about 12 or 13, I'm sorry, I, I, I always watch my dirty linens in public anyways. Oh. Um, <clears throat> at 13, I, my cousin, one of my naughty cousins, introduced me to, you know, prostitutes, you know, who went to a brothel. And of course, <laughs> I... And when she found out? I cont no, I contracted... Okay. Venereal disease okay. at the time, and you ran okay, to and I she was the closest person uh, because my mother was a chief nurse, okay, okay? and uh, I think it was from there that the bonding me and my mom started mm -hmm. because I didn't know how to approach that kind of a thing with my you father, couldn't tell. yeah, yeah, so because she would beat the hell out of me, <laughs> you know, so I ran to my mother, you know. My mother was always like, you know, uh, boys and girls are not supposed to, you know, mm -hmm. be staying mm -hmm. together. And I'm like, oh, don't really, what comes really, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, and all I wanted to was for her to stop the hurting, you know, because I was having problem pain, mm -hmm. you know. So well, from, from, I from, was, that, from that experience, from the, from that experience what, what would you be saying to mothers today in terms oh, of the relationship I, I, I love, that should exist I love, between... I loved my mom. Uh, yes, I'm always talking about my father, you know, but as soon as my father left, all the attention, I carry put for her head. Mm. Because I remember, you know, when I went to the village after my father retired, I went and kidnapped the both of them. I brought them to my house to live with me. As wow. a matter of fact, they both died in my house, not the same day, wow. you know, about three years apart, apart, you know. And the greatest, my greatest pride was the fact that after I gave my parents such a tough time in my youth, mm -hmm. I was the one where nobody expected to look and take care after them. My parents had fun. Mm. for the 11 years. You there. were paying back. Y yeah, I was making my restitution, yes. if you want to look at it like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's for people who remember mm -hmm. how, how their parents, their father or their mother affected them. People who appreciate. And uh, it's not all, not be all picking or do like that. True. Mm. Uh, True. Do, you, do you know what? I just, I caught a glimpse mm -hmm. of emotion as you Talked, about, talked your about your mother. You kidnapped so God, you God bless her now. soul. Yeah, God you bless her. Nice. God is bless. A soft, there's, there's a soft that's the Linda. That, that's the Linda. <laughs> that's, that's the Linda. Linda. Yeah. Linda. Okay. Yeah. And that's and Linda. and you know what? God bless her soul. Mm -hmm. Charlie boy, we're talking family relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you back to your father. Yeah. You had a kind. You had some personality clash, call it that, mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. dad. Mm -hmm. Yes, at the end of it all, it came out positive. Oh, very. Okay? Yeah. Although at the time, yeah, yeah it would have left, it had some pain. bitter taste. It was a bitter yeah. pill yeah. that the patient needed. Yeah, anyway. for, for them. Or for, for... Not, <laughs> not for you. Yeah. Must now, be for them. Let's leave dad. You as Charlie Boy, yeah. after nine children and 16 grandchildren, mm -hmm. Udugu. what would you say <laughs> or how would you best mm. describe your relationship with your own family? Oh. We've talked about you oh. and your dad, yeah. oh. you and your mother. Oh. What about my you and family? your children? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. My children are like my bodies. I said that in the beginning. Mm. There's nothing, there's no crime, not one single thing that I've done or yet to do that they know nothing about. 
Wow. And I'm always tracking them. You can imagine the kind of confidence my last baby, the baby of the house, who, who I call Charlie Girl, the courage when she came out of the closet to tell me, I remember that discussion one night. He called, Daddy, I want to say something to you. And I said, go ahead. I said, promise me you're not going to be mad. Promise me that, you know, that you'll be cool, like you always are. I said, try me. And then she says, oh, this is my sexual preference. I'm gay. Ah, thank God I was lying down. Mm. Because the thing staggered me small. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, are you really sure? That are you for who, real? Yeah, that's who you are. I'm bringing up this example to say something. Yeah. You know, we parents, just like my father did. Sometimes we make the mistake of thinking, okay, you know. my Pekin, mm. we all know him. He's always the baby. Okay? Because they're not born you, you become parents. You, it's, you keep going to that school. And so we always think that we know the best for the child. And we must also understand that in raising our kids, after we give them the best education or give them the best advice, every other thing, 50% of the job, how they turn out, is in their own hands, mm. not in the parents' hands. So parents should stop playing God. You understand? And then children should also understand that the fact that their parents are like, they're, sometimes they're overbearing, it's not because they don't like them or they like them any less, but because they are concerned about them, because they want them to always turn be right. better, turn out right. So kids must understand that. If the two people understand that, then you have a family where you can sit in the table and talk about your problems, solve them. Because ask me how I remained committed and loyal to one individual for 45 years. Is it easy? Okay. Now, be it you well, say marriage, you marriage, now, marriage is a lot of work. Okay, yeah, so, so you, okay. You, 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 you just took us through structuring the relationship. Yeah. Right. Now, don't you think you... Did I, did I answer your question, by the way, about me and my father? Yeah, because we're yes, we, we, yeah, I'm, yeah, we did. I'm, I'm we coming did. down. Yeah, I'm coming down to your own family. And thanks for saying that again, okay. because I was going to go back to that. Okay. Because it's like you you took your eyes off the ball for a moment with your daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah. You talked yeah. about the closet. Yeah, yeah. coming out. Coming from out the of the cl closet. Yes. I want us to go back to that. Okay. Could you? And being there for her. Yes. Could you define coming where out did of you, the closet? Where did, you, where did you lose? If you were closely knit as a yeah. family, yeah. you probably would have seen this developing. Maybe. Not all the time. Not all the time. My father, even my own father, you know, one morning he called me up. I finished my youth call and stuff like that. And he said, Here's a letter. Go to Potakot. Uh, you meet Mr. So, so, so start work, pack your things. And I'm like, you yeah, and who? Mm -hmm. I never had that discussion with you. I don't want to work for anybody. I made up my mind from day one that I, I'll be my own boss, and do my own know. thing. No, he didn't know. He didn't know. So when he said, oh, you don't want to work. Because it was typical, after you finish school, now you go walk. Yes. So this will be this one where no one do the right thing, you know? But look at how it all turned out. In the beginning, he said, this cannot work because it's too futuristic. People will not understand you. People will think you're irresponsible, blah, 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 blah. I said, you send me to school to go and study. And what I studied was mass communication, how to communicate. I, I told my father, I, I never forget that conversation. I said, when it's time for me to tell the public or show the public that I do have a brain, mm. 
no matter how crazy I may make out to be, because it's all, I'm an art, arty kind of person. And that's what we do, because we're entertainer. We entertain to teach you something. Sure. It's not that that is our lifestyle, oh. okay? And that was how we close rank, because nothing succeeds as success. If your parents, even though they don't believe in what, what you, want to do. you want to do. But as soon as they know that you're standing on a, a firm ground, okay, and you are making visible progress in whatever it is, and not to talk about my father who taught me about integrity, honesty, fighting injustice, wherever you see it, okay. and you're doing all of that that they've taught you to do. Yeah, Charlie Boy, it's almost impossible to unpack you even in three hours. Mm, yeah, yes, yeah. because yeah, there's yeah, so many time. areas that we may not be able to touch today. One yeah. very critical area that is important to me is a young lady with whom you've been married for 45 years. Mm -hmm. um, a non-Nigerian, mm -hmm. um, someone you brought into your village mm -hmm. at a very young age. Um, from probably an affluent environment. Yeah. Take two minutes to talk about Lady D. And Charles Oputa. Lady. And Charlie Boy. No. When, when I talk about <laughs> Lady D, I talk about Lady D as Charles Oputa, period. Okay. Not as Charlie Boy. But she was in the branding. But, yeah, but she helped, her, yeah. she helped me with the branding okay. she, in the beginning. She also yes. branded. We saw her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, no, there's nothing as profound as marrying your friend, okay? Because when you marry your friend, you're not in any competition with your friend. Exactly. That is number one. Uh, most likely, if you're, if you're that bonded, there'll be mutual respect, yeah? I can't imagine, even when I commit small offense. Plenty of offense. <laughs> small offense. I can't imagine <laughs> not talking to my wife about it. Because wow. I don't want any day that she will look upon me with any kind of suspicion. And that does not mean that I've been a saint. Total I have openness. not. I have that not and that does not mean that I've <laughs> been a saint. Oh, okay. I have not been a saint. I've erred a few times. But when you marry your friend, you know, it helps soften things. And, uh, you know, people look at me and say, oh, you love your wife. I say, I don't even understand what love is. He <laughs> says, so how come you've Being spent 45 for years? years? I say, all I know is about commitment. And commitment for me comes from the soul. You know, I've committed to to, to inspiring, life. inspiring young Nigerians. I'm committed to being in a relationship like I saw my you parents You have do. become her mumu. Uh, mm. Hey, you are the correct become, person. She has become her mumu. Yes, she <laughs> has <laughs> my mumu button. <laughs> yeah. All right, so daddy <laughs> taught you how to fight for the underprivileged. Underdogs, yes. And, and the mommy underdog, taught me how to fight injustice and all of that. Yes, and now, mommy talk to us about it. You know, in the last ten years or so, um, the area father thing, the uh, mumu chairman do. of um, what? Uh, mumu don't do. Yeah, I'm not chairman of anything, no. Uh, because uh, if I fight for Kada people, they say chairman of Kada. Mm -hmm. I fight for military so pensioner. They say chairman of military. No, my, oh, you're fighting my for father. Everybody. Remember, I said, my father told me mm -hmm. Mm. when I was still small. He said, son, anywhere you see injustice, fight, fight it. it. If you don't fight it, it will come back and back chop your head off. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like anything chopping my head off. Mm. Mm. And that's, my father taught me to so be. So how organized, how organized are you in this injustice fighting? If I can use what that. What do you word. mean organized? How organized now? Yeah. You're, you're working with Okada riders, working with. I'm layers. not working with them. If anybody has a problem, that is why I'm area father, no before mouth. Okay. If you get problem, 
if a, if a group of people have problems, they just come to me. I see how best, you know, I can solve the problem, you know. And uh, I've been motivating millions of Nigerian youths, you know, uh, to be their, the, their the best, best authentic be. self. Yeah. That's what I've done for 45 years. Mm -hmm. And to never, ever give up on themselves mm -hmm. or on their dreams. Because I didn't. I didn't. I, initially, my parents didn't believe because they were so, too concerned about me. They thought I was frivolous. They thought I was too playful, too rascally. Mm. But I've always known what I was doing. Mm. All, we have just two time. minutes. That's interesting. How do we wrap up how did, this show? How did we run 40 Out of time. odd minutes? It's with Charlie Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Is a tiny boy. But I must, I must, there's a confession I want to make before. I think my first encounter with you was sometime in the 90s. And I, I came over to the house at Charlie Boy. In Bagada. In Bagada. Yeah. And I'll tell you, the reason I'm saying this is that I noticed something. Organization, yeah. yes. Organization. Organization. Right from the gate till we met you. And then we were informed that Lady D. D was around and that there was a particular way we needed to, you know, not interfere okay. in her space. Wow. Right? I saw this organization come right from the gate up to you and then on the way out. So I think I believe it when you say that you have different faces, faces, you know, and that around the home, you apply the most appropriate, and then for the brand, you have something else. And I must also say that today we have been able to unravel a bit. Just a bit. Just a, Just bit, a bit of the enigma that is Charlie Boy. And um, before the time runs out, I, I want to personally thank you for all that you have done as an area father, as a convener of one group or the other, mm -hmm. as an inspiration you know, to many who today look up to you. Um, and it's been my pleasure meeting with the man, Mr. Charles Chukwemeka Oputa, better known as and Charlie Boy. All this grammar is to say the show is ended. No, wait. The conversation. No, that's not okay. The long and short of it is that you are wild. I'm wild. We're wild. Well, We're wild. I want to. I, in, I want just, to. I, I want to seven. thank you for sharing. I want to thank you for yes. sharing, Charlie Boy. We appreciate. Thank you so There's much. something in my experience. Yes. That you must share. And we thank you for, we thank and you for taking everything. taking away a lot. You know, and we, we thank you for being and very I'm sure honest. sure the younger people out there and families have taken so much from your story and your experience. Charlie Boy, we thank you very much honor. for being so honest thank with you. us.